Hello, it's Code de Nuit, and today we're going to talk about the Novel Studio project. Two months ago, I ran a poll to get your opinion on the next step for the project. I offered three possible directions, creating a store to share or sell your visual novels or graphic assets, improving the graphic assets of Novel Studio with more variety and higher quality, create a level editor to let your players explore your world, and you chose the most challenging one, the level editor. After two months of designing and coding, and many days spent creating graphic assets, I can finally present the first stage of this new feature. I'll start by creating a map. Here we are at the level editor. Let me introduce you to the five editing tools. First, let's look at the tile editor. I select a texture. I choose an outline mask, and we can start painting. The rectangle indicates the area affected by the brush. If needed, you can copy the state of a tile to paint faster. That's what you need to know about the tile editor. Before continuing, I'll enlarge the level area. And now we move to the next tool, the cliff editor. You can increase or decrease the height of the tiles. We can change the texture of the cliffs and the transition mask between the cliff and the surface. That's it for the cliff editor. The next tool allows you to add water to the tiles. We select a tile and can paint water on it. The level's topology is automatically taken into account. That's all for the water surface editor. The next tool is the wall editor. Like with tiles, we select a material and just draw the walls. We can choose the height of the walls. While we're at it, I'll modify the floor to create a room. I'll apply some parquet flooring. This is a bit too light. We can adjust the intensity, hue and saturation. To erase, there's an eraser tool. We select the button and just go over the walls. I'll also remove the floor. That's it for the wall editor. Let's move on to the next one, the sprite editor. I start by selecting a sprite and placing it on the map. We can adjust its color, size, animation speed. I take another sprite and it's the same process. I adjust it and place it and so on. Sprites are grouped by category. Here, it's the nature category. If the level needs it, I can mix all the available categories. That's it for the sprites. On the right side of the interface, we find all the map properties. We can change its size. We can change the lighting color. We can change the background color or simply apply a texture. We can adjust the cliff angles, for example, if you want to represent walls or artificial surfaces. Once you're done, you can save and you can come back to modify your scene. For those who want to create custom games, you can import your own sprites and textures. I open a sprite category and we find an icon to modify the sprite. I choose an image and the app will load it the engine will automatically generate the game texture and all the thumbnails. You can import or export a complete texture. All affected elements are automatically updated. It's the same for tiles. We select a tile, replace it. And you can start to paint. That's it for the editor. It's simple and minimalist but can be used to create all kinds of environments, indoor, outdoor, artificial, or natural. There are no limits if you import your own images to create the environment you want. So that's the current state of the Novel Studio Level Editor. For the next step, I'll be coding the Collision and Movement Engine. I'll create an editor for small 2D characters. And I'm going to add a new block to the story tree. A block for using levels, adding characters to them, and setting entry and exit points. I want to thank the tippers. 
the funds allow me to work full-time on the project. This helps me progress very quickly and make the project viable. This was Night Coda. See you next time. Bye.